Well, with me now is Dr. Fumi Oloni Shaki. She is the founding director of the African Leadership Center at King's College London. Thanks a lot for joining us. I mean, these are worrying times for, for Mali. Indeed, indeed. Because I, no one really expected that this level of escalation would have taken place within a short period of time, despite the sporadic violence that we've been witnessing the past few months or so. And uh, when the Prime Minister says we're now at war, with uh, the, the Tuaregs. I mean, are we going to see a military push to try and take this town from, from the Tuaregs and their allies? I, I think it's unlikely that that will happen uh, because to be able to... The government needs a credible show of force and I don't think it will be able to command that uh, within a short period of time. And I don't think it's in the interest of the international community at this point in time to watch the government of Mali uh, begin to declare war and go to war with the Tuaregs. Well, you mentioned the international community. Uh, of course, they had troops a in Mali. They pulled them out uh, gradually up until last year. Do you think they pulled them out too soon? No, no, I, I don't think so. Really, the, the, the strategy towards Mali has to be a de-escalation of, of a different sort. For example, we have not really entered a period in which there's deep negotiation and reconciliation in the north. And I think uh, the international community, MINUSMA, a whole range of actors, and the government of Mali will do well to begin to think about the long-term reconciliation of, the, of that region. Uh, so, 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 I mean, how does that happen? If the Tuaregs say they, they want a separate state and the, the Malian government is not ready to give up any territory, how do you reconcile both parties? The fact is that the roots of the Tuareg issue has been largely socio-economic for a long time. And these are not things that we have explored in a way that we begin to think of the integration of the northern regions of Mali. And that, re that integration is crucial to what we're talking about. They need to see signs that the, the rest of Mali sees uh, a common destiny with the, the rest of the north. And that requires actually a lot of investment of time, of resources over a long period of time. There have to be clear signs that this, uh, this is about to take place before we begin to see a de-escalation of the situation in, in northern Mali. Dr. Loni Shaki, don't go anywhere yet. Okay. We want to talk to you about our next story as okay. well. Um, Nigeria police says suicide bomb in the northern city of Kano has killed four people. The blast happened in a street full of bars and restaurants in the Sabongeri area in Nigeria's second biggest city. The attack comes after West African leaders met in Paris at the weekend for a security summit where they've agreed to wage war on Boko Haram and pledge to share intelligence and coordinate action against the group. Well, uh, Dr. Loni Shaki is still here with me. Uh, do you think now there's a will between Nigeria and its neighbors, Chad, Niger, and Cameroon, as well as Benin, that's been dragged into this, to fight Boko Haram together? Uh, to a certain extent, but I, I think this, this is an internationally facilitated uh, coordination of the region. It's the first time that these countries in the region will come together in that form. Uh, so one can see a measure of will, if only for, for the fact that they all realize that they probably face a common challenge, if not in the form of Boko Haram. Uh, for Cameroon, Boko Haram is, is a threat to them, but in form of this sort of terror activities that are beginning to plague the region. But I, I think there's a bigger challenge here for Nigeria. Nigeria needs to decide whether it will be dictated to gradually by the international community or whether it indeed has a will to do what it takes uh, to, to remove the threat of Boko Haram. Dr. Fumio Lanishoku, thank you very much for thank talking you. to us. Um, thank you. Thank you.